Hi, I'm still Peter Booth, and I'm talking a lot this morning, but we'll fix that. Um, so what I said earlier is MLab's building a new platform. Uh, we're new, using, new, now using modern abstractions and systems with monitoring as a fundamental component, and everything is getting simpler, which is just the greatest news if you're building a technical <laughs> platform. It's getting simpler, um, and, it's not, and it's becoming more flexible rather than less. Uh, it works today. Uh, we will perform a live demo of a continent-wide deployment. And, we will and in the process, we will demonstrate some of the capabilities unlocked by this new architecture. Uh, I need to stamp this with the live demo hubris alert. So um, it, it, in the awareness that I'm tempting the fates uh, with it, I'd just like to say, I know I am. And if you would like to see it work, I hope, uh, <laughs> come to the breakout session, which will be right over there. And next up is Bob. Well, first, if anyone has any questions about that. Does anyone? Thank you, Peter. I'm I'm Bob. I'm Bob Balance, and I'm still Bob Balance. Uh, and where is the clicker here? I really wanted to steal the hubris alert stamp, but uh, I didn't manage to do that. Um, two years ago, we ran a workshop in this room. It was a workshop for NTIA on what was then called the. Uh, broadband connectivity analysis tool. I ended up doing a lot of the data analysis for that as a presidential innovation fellow. So the work began back then. Um, I got off of that project. We did ship a, a beta. Um, my term was up. I left. I said, we can do this better. I've been looking at mapping broadband data for the places we live ever since. I like to say nobody cares about the average broadband download speed in America. And the flip side is broadband now, which will tell you what it is at your address, maybe today, or what's available. But it doesn't help you plan a community. And so I've been working in this and uh, really working with the MLAB data to give it the connectivity to the community that we really need. So I'm also going to attempt a demo. I'll flip through some other slides. Uh, we're going to go live. Uh, this is almost up and ready for early UZI testing. But uh, the MLAB data really catches everybody's eye when we start to put it up there. The rest of the data, um, I'm pulling FCC fixed and mobile data. I'm pulling ProPublica congressional data, MLAB data, EPA data, USGS data. If I could get Akamai data, I would love it. And I was just talking about putting in the one box button to run your own speed test when you're browsing the commentary inside the code. Um, towns, counties, states, congressional districts, tribal regions. I live in New Mexico, and 53% of new, rural New Mexicans have no broadband. Um, and that's just my state, right? That's one of 50 states and six territories that this code is prepared to deal with. So I'm running a breakout session in the back corner, and I hope you'll join me. Any questions, clarifying questions for Bob? No, OK. Uh, I'm going to act for Amba at the moment because she is going. She is on a, a video conference in the conference room, calling in from India <laughs> to talk to us about net neutrality measurement in India with their recently passed net neutrality regulation. Uh, that session will. Um, she has a hard stop at 11. So the other half of that room session, uh, Thomas, who is our fellow working in the EU on net neutrality issues from Epicenter Works, will also talk about EU net neutrality measurement. Uh, so those are your three breakouts. The conference room we are using for this session is not the one straight across, but the one closer to the entrance in the back corner. Um, a few of us can help direct you if that's where you're going. So if there are no questions, then ready, go. <laughs>